Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I will show you how to expand your internal storage with a USB stick. This configuration is called EXT root or external root. This tutorial will be very useful if you are using a small flash memory router, for example, the dealing DIR842C2s and want to install some heavy size package. For example, the Edgard Home. Before the configuration, let's have a check at the OpenWRT partition so that I can introduce to you what is going on with this configuration. So as you can see, the MTD file is the firmware sections of the OpenWRTs and, and all of these are different layers and different mount points in our system. For the kernel section, we are not touching it, but in this MTD2, we have the root file system and the mount point is root slash, as you can see right here. Right here, we have two mount points, the room mount point and the overlay mount point. So if you read right here, the overlay is the writable part of the file system that get merged with room to create a unique mount point, which is the root and it contains anything that was written to the routers after the installation. For example, you are changing some configuration files or you are installing some other packages. So all will be safe on this overlay sections. And when the system is looking for some files or something, it will first check for slash overlay and then will check in the slot rooms or the room mount point. So in this video, we are going to move this overlay mount point to the external USB. It can be a USB rise or a USB hard rise or even a USB adapter with a memory card inside. Let's back to the tutorial. So everything is very easy and straightforward and we can just copy the command and paste in. So for this video, I'm using the DIR-A42C2 from D-Link. This one has been updated to OpenWRT21 stable version. At the same time, I have a USB, right? It is 4 GB. So let me plug it in the computers and let's check it. All right, so as you can see, this is our removable disk or the USB, right? And it is 4 GB and the current format is FAT32s and it is blank. However, for external root configuration, the file system should be ext4. Therefore, we will also perform the format of the USB rise and then change it to ext4. First, let's connect the USB rise to your routers. All right, so it is in, and now let's establish the added edge connection to the router. So 192.168.1.1. In this video, I'm using Putty, but you can use PowerShell or Camelite or anything that can use to establish an edit edge connection. Hit open, accept, and root. I have just performed a factory reset of the router, so everything is still fresh, meaning there is no package installed. So let's run DF and edge so that you can see all of the storage that we have. So as you can see the overlay, we have 9.2 megabyte of free space and this is actually not enough to install Edgar Holmes and all the package. So, all right, let's run OPKG update to update the package database. And after this one is done, we need to install these packages. So block mouse is the extension you to mouse or the USB or, or the USB hard drive to the system. This kernel mod is used to handle the ext4 file system, USB storage, kmod USB OSCIs, and kmod USB UHCIs is used to handle the USB storage. And this two is used to manage other disks. Alright, so let's copy the mod and paste in. Perfect, the installation is successful. And now we will configure root file system data. So connect added edge to the device and then we will configure avatar to mount the root avatar data in our directory. So 
FS tabs is file system table where it's managed all the mount point. So we can just copy everything and run it one by one. All right, so let me just copy them all and pay in and press enter and then commit the FS table. This is the result of block infos and this is our MTD block 7 and MTD block 8. This is the current, the overlay mount point. And this is our USB, right? So it is currently in 532 file system. With this commands, we're going to format our SDA1 into EXT4. Enter. If you receive this warning, do not worry because the system have checked that this is a valid partition and it contains a VFAT file system. So proceed anyway, yet hit enter and wait for the command to finish. The command is finished. Now we will config the select partition as a new overlay via file system tables in the UCI command. All right get this one and then copy them all and paste in and uci commits every top so now let's go and check if they anything in the overlay mount point so cd slash overlay ls and we have upper and work all right so now we will transfer the contents of the current overlay to the external hard drive we just run it one by one because with this command, we are going to create a directory and then mount it to the new created directory and mount the device to MNT. The device actually is our USB, right? So, and then run this command to copy and all the file had been copied. Uh, so now let's unmount and reboot the router all right the router is up and running so let's establish the added edge connection to it one more time i will click restart sections and let's log in root and there no password so i will set a password as well All right, so let's clear the modes and let's run DF, then H. For the overlay mount points, we have 3.4 of free space. So this will be more than enough to install all of the package that we need. So let's log in to Lucy and see if we can see the space in the shortware section. So this is DIA42C2 and let me go to system, shopwares and let's see we have 3.9 of free space. So now we should be ready to go and you can install anything with the Lucy via the shopware section. For manual installation, you can go to the overlay mount point and download your file there. So let's go to CDs and then slash overlay and LS to list all the file. And you can see you have the etc upper and work so let's try to install and got harmed on the dir a42c2 so let me go to google.com first and search for and got home github all right all right so here it is and let me go to the release sections for the dir a42c2 it is running the mpls platform so let's copy that Copy the link and uww get command to download the file. All right, hit enter. The file has been successfully downloaded. All right, so let me list the files and you can see the file had been successfully downloaded, but the name is something really weird. So I will rename it with the mv command. So 76 and I will tap it. And you can see when I press the tab key, it will automatically fill in the file name and now I want to rename it to something for example as godharm.tir.gz hit enter and now if I list the files I will have this file okay 
So now we will use this command to extract the file. So it will be tar and then xfvz and then at got harm hit enter and the file being extracting to the USB right or to the overlay section. All right, so now if you ls the file, we will have the new folder which is the at got harm. So let's go to it. CDs at got harm. And now we should be ready to run the file. So slash and then at got harm and hit enter. And the program is starting. So let's go to 192.168.1.1 and then colon 3000 and we are now able to assess the Edgar Home installation. Alright, so basically Edgar Home is running and you can follow this video for step-by-step -step installations and configurations. Before we end the video, there's something I want to share regarding this configuration. So let's say if I follow the standard installation, so VRLAN for the admin web interface and the port is 3000 and for the DNS server is we're running on VRLAN for example and the port is 5353 so if I click next, I will receive an error message okay, so now we can just in input the username and password and if I click next, I will receive an error message we cannot use this port because right now this port 3000 has been used for the installation so we should set this one to 3001 for example and click next and then we should be ready to go alright just that and for the rest of the stuff you can follow this video to configure as got home the block list as well as the DNS servers in the OpenWRT so that's all for this short video thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video Bye-bye.